boys and girls of all ages and welcome back to the second story of the week and the last story for this week next story will be next film right so i've got my favorite teddy i'm in my jammies i'm nice and cozy bozy bozy and it's time for me to tell you that story so boys and girls this week we are joined by max again can you remember max from the story show and tell you can oh good well we have something exciting because we are going on a bit of an adventure the day aren't we max because we are going to visit uncle jed at the zoo because uncle jed is a zookeeper so he said he was happy to show us about and tell us interesting facts about all the animals would you like that yeah okay well let's begin so uncle jed what is the first animal boys and girls it's a tiger So this is Tilly the Tiger. So what interesting facts have you got to tell us, Uncle Jed? Well, did you know that tigers can grow up to 10 foot tall? 10 foot boys and girls. That's as big as this room. 10 foot tall. That's ginormous. And that is why they get the name of the largest cat in the world cat species in the world because he can grow up to 10, 10 foot tall can you believe it wow so that is the tiger i love tigers you know and i love wild cats in fact tigers are my man's favorite animal because of the bright orange fur with the black stripes and they do have these beautiful blue eyes most tigers have beautiful blue eyes if not mostly green and they're beautiful beautiful creatures very dangerous but beautiful creatures right dread what's next oh since we're talking about cats we may as well talk about lions boys and girls so this is leonard the lion wow look at that and in fact oh you can tell a boy lion from a girl lion because a boy lion grows this hair around them and that's called a mane and did you know that lions can roar so loud you can hear them for miles and miles away five miles away boys and girls you can hear a, they roar that is super loud i wouldn't want to be right next to him than when he roars because he could deafen us couldn't he uncle jen Right, Uncle Jed, which animal's next? We're going to one of my sister's favorite animal. My sister Amber's favorite animal is a panda. Interesting fact. So Uncle Jed says that a panda is known to be one of the most friendliest animals in the world. They can be pretty dangerous if you get on the wrong side of them, but they're supposed to be this big ball of fun isn't that right uncle jed and they're vegetarians as well so all they eat is mostly bark and moss off trees and leaves and stuff like that but yeah i like pandas too they're quite cute aren't they kung fu panda well <laughs> okay what's next uncle jed oh boys and girls bit scary it's a crocodile well what interesting facts have we got for the boys and girls on the jet about crocodiles really well uncle jed says that crocodiles are the longest living animals on the world they go back from dinosaurs boys and girls so really when you see a crocodile you're looking at a real life dinosaur how cool is that and crocodiles can be really dangerous yes they might have sharp teeth but they are super strong so for their prey 
they'll find a prey and they'll snap it and bring it down into the water deep and spin it round to try to get their prey because really yes they do have sharp teeth but their power is in their body and in their tail their tail is so strong boys and girls it can they can break things because that's how taut that's how strong their tails are so you want to stay away from crocodiles boys and girls you really do Maybe we should feed them all clocks like Captain Hook so we can hear them coming out. <laughs> right, young chair. I'm sorry for talking too much. What animal is next? Ah, oh, it's my favourite animal, boys and girls. It's the monkey. I love monkeys. What interesting facts can you tell us about monkeys? Really? Uncle Jed says that they, for being so small, they can be so strong. I know that gorillas can be strong, but even little monkeys like this are so strong. And there's also up to 264 different types of monkeys. Can you believe that? But apparently, apparently ape is not a monkey. So I don't know what an ape is then. <laughs> but yeah. I love monkeys because they're adorable, aren't they? They can be very cheeky though. I guess that's why the term comes cheeky monkey. But yes, I love monkeys. I want to know what your favourite animal is. So maybe you can tell me what your favourite animal is. Right. What's next, Jess? Boys and girls. Elephants. Elephants, boys and girls. So... Uncle Jed. Uncle Jed's very shy, so that's why he's telling me and I've got to pass it on. Right, Uncle Jed. Right, right, that is very interesting. Did you know that there's two different types of elephants? There's Asian elephants and there's African elephants. And you can tell them apart by their ears. Yes, boys and girls, because African elephants have bigger ears than Asian elephants. Can you tell what kind of elephant this would be? That's right, it's an African elephant because its ears are very big. Plus their big ears can flap away flies and shade them as well. But they are the biggest land animal as well. I like elephants too. Especially baby elephants when you see them running. <laughs> right, Uncle Jed, what's next? Giraffes, wow. So giraffes are the tallest land animal because their legs alone are six foot long. That's bigger than some humans, boys and girls. And their neck is also six foot long. And their body must be at least three foot long. So that makes them 15 foot tall. Some can even go even bigger. And a baby giraffe is born at four foot tall. Four foot tall. That's really big for a baby, isn't it? But yes. But giraffes are built so they can get the nuts and the leaves and the fruit from the top of the tree. So their long necks come in handy, boys and girls. Don't know, Uncle Jed. What's next, Uncle Jed? <gasps> snakes. Snakes, boys and girls. Now, snakes are quite big. They can be quite dangerous. Some snakes are only small, and some snakes can grow up to 20 foot long. 20 foot long, boys and girls. But even the small snakes that are only around 4 foot long, they can eat an animal that is up to 3 times as big as them. So, a little snake that is about 4 foot long could eat a full goat a goat boys and girls they just swallow them whole as well plus they are very powerful powerful animals because they can wrap around you and they squeeze you tight to try to stop you from breathing and that's how they catch their prey but also their sight isn't very good boys and girls so they have to sense the sight and what's around them or prey or any other animals with their tongue 
because their taste buds are super sensitive so they can taste the, the things around them but also other creatures boys and girls so snakes are quite fascinating aren't they boys and girls what's that much Ed? snakes are your favorite animal i say why i say why they are very very interesting animals i must say right boys and girls oh we've seen this animal before haven't we, Jed? in the story under the sea it's a dolphin can you remember the facts boys and girls of what i told you in under the sea that's right boys and girls and if you didn't i'll recap you so there are three main facts about dolphins number one is that they travel in a big pack mostly 10 even 20 of dolphins and that pack is called a school and boys and girls that dolphins have this superpower that they can find the other dolphins or find objects with their echo ability as well and also the last fact is that dolphins are supposed to be the smartest sea creature under the sea they could be even the smartest humans can you believe that boys and girls isn't that fact isn't that fascinating what can you remember the name of the d dolphin dahlia the dolphin that's right dahlia the dolphin well this is daisy the dolphin <laughs> right oh, we've come up to the last animal boys and girls i really enjoyed learning about the facts of uncle jed about all these different beautiful fantastic awesome animals what about you matt Max has been very quiet, hasn't he? We can see where Max gets his shies from, from Uncle Jed. <laughs> so, boys and girls, the last animal. What is it, Uncle Jed? It's a penguin. Ah, oh, a penguin. So, a penguin used to be one of my little sister's favourite animal, Emily. But she also likes a snow leopard. But, unfortunately, we don't have any snow leopards at this zoo, do we, Jed? But we do have penguins. What's his name? Peter the Penguin. <laughs> but did you know that penguins, most penguins can't fly? No penguins can fly, said Uncle Jed. But they are like almost like fish because they're super, super duper swimmers and they slide super fast on their bellies. But also, when penguins have babies, they, their babies are like most birds and they hatch in the eggs. But the male penguin sits on the egg while the mammy penguin goes find some food for the um, baby. And even when attached, the baby still sits like underneath the penguin to keep warm and to keep safe while the mammy goes finds their food but also boys and girls that penguins mate for life so that means when a boy and a girl find each other they would be together forever and ever because penguins mate for life oh, isn't that cute well oh jed thank you for telling me and the boys and girls all these interesting facts about all these awesome animals and i hope you've enjoyed seeing all these animals and learning all these interesting facts too boys and girls but i guess we'll have to say goodbye to max and uncle jed and let them have some uncle and nephew bonding time so like i said i hope you've enjoyed that story or lesson or whatever you wanted to call these stories lessons or just fun videos to watch as long as you are getting entertained and as long as it's something that keeps you your mind active when you're dreaming or for the day it gives you something to think about because that's what these videos are for uh, the teaching you things new mottos in life and aims and it's just a bit of fun isn't it boys and girls so i shall see you next week and i hope you stay good i hope you behave yourself because i'll know mommy and daddy will tell me or relatives will tell me 
but yes but also like yes you let me know what your favorite animal is you can even send us some pictures of you drawing your favorite animal that would be good wouldn't it or you could even send us some pictures of from some of the stories that you like your favorite story so far because i love seeing all your work as well buds and girls and i love hearing all the feedback so yes stay safe and i shall see you next time